What's up you guys? Welcome back to Mad Medicine. My name is Farhan. I am a medical student and today I'm going to be discussing a video I saw on my TikTok feed that blew me away. Now before I talk about that, don't forget to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm and while you're there, if you guys like the videos I'm producing and I'm posting, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because your support really means a lot to me and I really appreciate it. And with that being said, let me tell you how I found this, uh, this video that I'm going to be showing you guys and discussing today. So the other day, I was on my TikTok um, and I was scrolling to the For You page and I saw a video of a young female researcher doing research during COVID-19, during this entire global pandemic and it just left it left me speechless right because i saw her doing this research and i was so amazed and impressed that i thought you know what i have to make a video about this now i want to give you guys a little bit a little, a little bit of a backstory um because of this pandemic a lot of schools have been closed especially universities and a lot of research labs have been closed down just because they're not allowing their researchers their students their undergrads and even high schoolers to come into the research uh, lab to do research because of safety concerns so a lot of people are very stressed out about getting proper clinical experience, getting proper research experience for whatever their career goal may be, whether it's going into medical school, going into dental school, or going into a PhD doctorate research program. A lot of people are very stressed out about it, and uh, rightfully so. But this video, in this video, this girl kind of tackles the problem that a lot of people are facing, and she does the research at home. All right, so I'm not going to talk more about this video. I'm just going to put it on the screen, and we're just going to watch it and talk about it together. Ready? and let's play. Hello, I'm a high schooler and I do neuroscience research on fruit flies. Okay, I just gotta pause it real quick. This high schooler is doing neuroscience research on fruit flies. That is amazing because when I was in high school, I sure as I was not doing any type of research in a laboratory setting. I was doing some like fake BS research on, uh, actually, I don't even remember. I think I, the research I did was like the, the do it at home research type stuff. It wasn't like real research whatsoever. So the fact that she is a high schooler doing neuroscience research on fruit flies is phenomenal. It's amazing, but you know, that's just a sidebar. Let's continue. Last summer I went to Berkeley to do research. Okay. She went to Berkeley to do research. She went to Berkeley as a high school student to do research on neuro, uh, neuroscience research on fruit flies. Anyways, let's continue still. But this summer, there was a pandemic, so the flies had to come to me. The flies came to her. <laughs> wow. Basically, I had to build a neuroscience lab out of my bathroom, which was, you know, a very um a stressful task. I bet it was a stressful task. I mean, she's building a neuroscience research lab in her bathroom. She had the fruit flies shipped to her wherever she is from Berkeley. I'm assuming it's from Berkeley because she went to Berkeley last summer. But anyways, she's doing research on fruit flies in her bathroom and she's creating she's creating a research lab now if you guys have never been in a research lab if you have never been in a university research lab you'll know how uh crazy and sometimes uh, like hectic those labs are because there's so much stuff there's so much equipment that researchers need to do the research that they're doing that it's amazing she's able to create or even replicate part of that in her bathroom wow but let's continue. So I started by cleaning literally every inch of my bathroom. Yeah. And then I organized all of the materials that I would need. Her organization is pretty good, not gonna lie. Uh, she has her pipette tips and everything right there. It's pretty good. After that, I measured a bunch of places to make sure anything I added fit. Good. But you know, my flies needed somewhere to stay, so I built them this cute little shelf in the shower, and then I organized them all on there. That's nice, right? She organized the, the fruit flies on the shower. Man, and it's kind of closed. That's a cool thing. Her shower kind of gives a separation between where she's going to do like any work or anything and where the actual subjects, the fruit flies are being held. That's pretty smart. Next, I added a desk. Oh, she got a, a microscope. Chair, and then my microscope and laptop. And here's the mini lab in action. It actually works very well. And I'm looking at the flies under the microscope That's there. Sick. This is what they look like. Very that is cool, sick. right? So here's the finished product, and it took quite a while to make. So please like this video if you support young scientists. Thanks. Man, that was impressive. So to add possibly your mother. That's probably one of the best uh, usernames I've ever seen. But at possibly your mother, 
Uh, congratulations. That was amazing. And what you're doing, what you were able to accomplish in your bathroom is phenomenal. And I am so impressed by this person. Now, the reason why I wanted to show this video is because, I, like I said earlier, a lot of people are very stressed out about what is going to happen with their experiences. Are they going to be able to get the good uh, research experience they need to get into whatever professional career they want to go into? And this video, this person literally was able to take the cards she was dealt with COVID-19, the pandemic, she took the cards she was dealt and she made the best situation, best thing that she could. And she is doing amazing research. And that's something that I think we all need to take back from this whole uh, pandemic. Just because there's a pandemic going on, it doesn't mean we can't adjust and still move forward. And I made a video the other week about getting clinical experience during COVID-19 and how you can go about doing that. And I think the reason why a lot of people are very stressed out is because this is so new, this is so unexpected, and it's never been, happened before that a lot of people don't know how to adjust. But you need to be able to adjust to whatever the situation, whatever is going on. Um, yeah, so as far as this video is concerned, I am amazed. I am like flabbergasted and, and when I was watching this video I was literally shocked and I was shook because this person was able to do something so amazing on her own as a high school student that's just amazing so shout outs to at your mother uh, or possibly at possibly your mother I think you're doing amazing I support you I want you to succeed and I hope she's posting more on TikTok if you guys like this video let me know leave a comment below I am going to be making a video on getting uh, research experience during COVID-19 similar to getting clinical experience during COVID-19. So if you guys want to see that, let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to my channel if you guys like these types of videos. I also post a lot on TikTok, so don't forget to follow me on TikTok at Mad Medicine. I really appreciate it. And if you guys want me to do anything, if you guys want me to talk about anything else, leave a comment below and I'll see you guys back here real soon. Stay safe, stay sane. Take it easy, fam.